welcome to a special edition of Burton & Burton's Design Lab. Today is sponsored by Anagram Balloons, and I'm here with world-renowned AmScan designer, all the way from across the pond, Chris Horn, the Duke of Decor. Hey, Chris. Hi, Lauren. We're so happy to have you here today. What are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to do, do a sweet 16 design. Okay. Um, it's something that we're going to use some numbers, we're going to use some latex, we're going to use some satin looks. Uh, the colours are all on trend, so it's got a little bit of something for everybody, I hope. And then we're going to throw a few little extra tricks in to keep it more interesting. Okay, well I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, I'm going to start with four of the, the white satin looks hearts. So this is one of the new colours for fall 2018, is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I love, love this colour. So we're going to air fill these. Well, we will do if I get the thing on the right outlet. Okay, that's good. Now, Chris, do you find that the Foil Pro is the best equipment to use for inflating these satin lux balloons? I would not be without it. I just think it's the best piece of equipment that I've got in my arsenal when it comes to inflating these because it's so gentle, it doesn't damage the valves, mm -hmm. it doesn't overinflate because of the the foil outlet, and yeah, it's just fantastic. Love it. Awesome. Okay, and when you've got these inflated, you're going to tie them all together, or at least fix them all together. You can tie them if you want, but I am... Um, a great lover of the zip tie. Okay. So I'm just going to grab all the tails together, put a little zip tie around the middle, and zip it up. Now, I also like my gadgets a lot. So this thing is a zip tie tensioning gun. Oh. And what it does is to pull it up tight, and then when it reaches the right tension, cuts it off, doesn't you leave any sharp bits. I thought you were going to pierce my ears over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will, maybe later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, it's really good. I, I do suffer from arthritis in my fingers, so I find mm -hmm. it sometimes difficult to, to pull the, the zip ties up tight enough, okay. and that really helps. Not necessary, it's just helpful. We put the weight between two of the foils, just twist them over to lock it in place, and then that will form the base of the design. Okay. Take a piece of curling ribbon. And I'm going to pull that through the centre as well and then tie it around so that we've got a nice anchor point for everything else that we will add to it. Next, we need four latex balloons. So I'm going to use some rose gold and I'm going to inflate those to around about seven inches. Not, you don't have to be strict on this. Um, just seven inches is, is, seems to be about the right size. But yeah. And here in the United yeah. States, rose gold is all the rage this year. Are you seeing that in England as well? Absolutely. Okay. Oh yeah, everything, rose gold, everything. So, <laughs> Let's, uh, let's make the most of that while we can. Yes. It's wonderful when there is such a, such a trend and, and one that is all-encompassing. You know, it's great because if you want to make sure something sells, just make it in rose gold. <laughs> It'll be fine. So four of these tied into duplets, twisted into four, and then I'm going to take the two pieces of ribbon that already comes up through the middle like that and use it to anchor it together. Now, watch what happens to the hearts. As I pull these, this tight to hold it all together, the hearts Ooh, okay. go turn themselves down. That lifts the weight off of the, the table and it just gives it a bit more stability because now everything sits on, mm -hmm. on those hearts and it, it's not rocking around on the weight. It's now got a good, strong four 
pointed base. I love the shape it creates. You can really see the heart, it makes it look like a flower. Exactly, yeah. it, it shows them off as well. They're not mm -hmm. sitting flat, so, okay, so that's good. Now, we're gonna use the two numbers. So I said it was a sweet 16 party, so obviously one six. Um, and we'll start with number six. These are also air filled. 99% of this design is air filled, which is great. Okay, now they do have the, the barcode sticker on the back, but this can be peeled off, so remove Super that. Easy. Yeah, nice and easy. Okay, normally you would attach it like that. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like doing that. I'm, I like, I, I'm a great one for asymmetry. I like things to be just that little bit off centre. So I'm going to tape the tail out of the way. Use, I use a little bit of balloon bond, but any kind of tape will do. Is balloon bond your preferred yes. tape? I again can't imagine how I managed to do anything before it came along. Now it does everything. My whole house is held together with balloon bond, Velcro and zip ties. <laughs> It's going to be a bit of a surprise for the new owners because it's on the market, we're moving. So <laughs> somebody's going to have a surprise. But I'm going to attach it here using this tab. So the six will sit at a slight angle. I like that. Um, so in order to do that, again, I'm going to use a little bit more curling ribbon. I'm going to attach it to that tab with a slip knot so that it's nice and secure and then that will tie in. Before I do though, I'm going to take off all of these extra tabs. We don't need them and they don't look, well I certainly don't believe they look very attractive. No, no. So I always remove the ones that are not required. Just be careful with your scissors when you're doing that. You can tell that I speak from experience and I have burst a couple of balloons and it's very annoying. So, once again, take the two pieces of ribbon, pull them through, pull it down nice and tight, wrap it around a couple of times and tie it off. Okay. And that will hold the number six nice Seems and really strongly. Secure. Yeah, really Oops. secure. Now we need the number one. Once again, inflated with air. Tape up the tail. Well, remove the barcode. Tape up the tail. Oops. Yeah, I've got it. And again, remove the tabs we don't want, which is this one. One. And this one, but I do want this one for later. Okay. So I'm leaving that there. And then we can attach the number one to the number six with some more balloon bond. So you're looking at it backwards, I so apologize for that, but I need to see it this way around so I can see what's going on. If you Line it up where you want it to be. You can see where the balloon bond needs to go. So we'll put one piece on this point there. Let's just double check. Second piece will go here. Peel it off. Stick it in place. I love the movement that the asymmetrical design yeah. creates. It's beautiful. It's, I think it's so much better than having it sitting straight. Mm -hmm. You know, it just gives it a little bit more style, um, and it yeah looks so much better. So this, I would, I trust balloon bond. I think it's really amazing, but some people may not. So what we will do now is to strengthen that join, but make it part of the design as well. So I'm going to use some of this, which is a six inch wide tool ribbon that is covered in little sparkles. Oh, I love that. And yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm using that then to go around the middle. 
And all of these supplies you're using can be purchased through BurtonandBurton.com. Absolutely. Right, let's pull this through here. We'll just check the length first. Make sure that it overlaps both ways, so it needs to be there. I'm um, also, you know, I like to see the end of the ribbon cut nicely. Yes. Um, but a lot of the time, I, I really don't have time to spend cutting little V shapes everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I've discovered that if you bunch it up like this, and then you cut it at a sharp angle, then you get Ooh. a nice sort of attractive ragged edge that will work perfectly well without you having to spend too much time fiddling about with it. So let's just straighten this, this out to make sure it sits nicely. Pull that through there. It's quite a large thing, this design, but it's going to form a focal point design. You know, it's not a not something that's going to end up the corner, in the corner. Yeah. This is something that people are going to take notice of. So it's good that it's quite quite large. There we go. So I've, I've op smoothed out the, um, the ribbon so we've got the full width of it. Beautiful. And I'm just going to tie that around the middle. And then if the balloon bond decides that it's not going to work and it decides to give way, it's not all going to fall apart because we've tied it around the centre here nice and firmly with the ribbon. So the ribbon looks good but forms a, has a function at the same has time. A purpose too. I love that. Right, now we can add all the little extra bits. So I'm going to start down here at, at the base of it and I will add some five inch latex here and there. Um, I'm going to put in some pale blue because I like the contrast between the pale blue and the rose gold. One thing about rose gold is that it seems to go with just about everything. So it acts like a neutral. It really does. It's got a colour, quite a distinct colour of its own, but it combines so well with so many other things. I put it with grey and black and silver and it looks stunning. Put it with burgundy, wonderful. Pale blue looks good. Caribbean blue, equally good. Um, a sort of minty green. It goes with all of these things. And that really is, I think, part of the reason it, of, it's so successful. Because whatever colour you put it with, it works, or seems to. It's very sophisticated. Um, yes, it is. I was talking to someone um, only yesterday, and they combine it with yellow, or have oh. combined it with yellow. And I did think, mm, that sounds a little bit odd. But I tried it out, and it worked really well. So, okay. you know. I've seen a lot of mustard this year, too. So that might be yeah. a nice combination. Yep, That's haven't tried that one. That's something, something to try. Let's see if mustard works. <laughs> Okay, so I'm blowing these balloons quite small, squeezing the air up to the top to make sure that the, the colour is even, tying them off and then pushing the knot into the balloon like that. So you get a really small knot and then you can remove the tail and it's a, a much neater, rounder finish. You're not kind of worried about the... Uh, the necks of the balloon showing. They're so they're all, all different sizes, kind of the way you would use for an organic display? Yes, I'm not worrying too much. I'm getting them roughly the same size, okay. but I'm not stressing over whether they are or not. I don't, I'm not concerned about them being exactly the same, okay. all roughly the same. So the, the, the blue ones are all slightly bigger than the rose golds. So let's just remove that out of the way. Then what we can do is just attach these in. Now, once again, I'm going to use balloon bond. It is my preferred adhesive and it seems to work for just about everything. So a little bit on there and tuck that into the side of the design. So much quicker than using regular tape. Yes. And then the little rose gold one will go in front of that. That there. And like that. There. And because we've uh, 
made the effort to make the knot extremely small and cut away the neck of the balloon, then we don't then have to worry about it showing. It's not going to. You just stick them in so that the, um, the small knot is, is around the back and that's it. You don't need to worry about hiding anything else. And that one will go in there like that. There are two blues, and one of them is steel blue, which is really quite grey, and this one is azure. I love that colour. It's it so is rich. so soft and rich. It's really nice. And it, it's not the same colour as the latex, but it has the same tones, so it picks mm -hmm. up quite nicely on there. And I'm going to use these to add a little bit of extra detail. So I've removed the neck, cut it off, okay. and then take the valve out. We don't need that because what we're then going to do is pick it up in the centre. Um, I've left it so the, va the barcode is facing upwards. Okay. And then when you pick it up in the middle like this and scrunch it like that, oh, wow. you make yourself a sort of flower. Oh, I love that. And the barcode then is on the back there, which nobody will see. Okay. So make sure that the barcode is on the top before you start. Put a curling ribbon around it to hold it in place. I love what you're doing with the different finishes. It just creates so much texture and interest mm. with the metallic, the satin lux, the latex. Wow. Beautiful. The, uh, to me, something like this, which as I said, is going to be a focal point design. You want it to be it's going to be somewhere important. It's not just you know a bit of decor that's going to stick somewhere. It's, it's an important piece of decor um, and, and forms a focal point. You need it to have some interest and some texture. What I aim for is that people attending the party will stop and look at this once or twice. You know, they'll, they'll walk, ooh, and then they'll see something and see something else and see something else. And then it's, it's got so much extra value. I don't want them just to walk past. So all of these little details will help towards that. So we'll do that again, pick it up in the middle, scrunch it like that. You make it look so easy. <laughs> because it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little little bit of practice. Of <laughs> once you've done it once or twice, you'll find that it is really, really easy. And then tie it around. Now I'm going to do one extra thing with this. This one I left the stem on okay. because I can use that stem to attach it with a piece of balloon bond. This one, I don't need so much stem, so I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to remove that there. Okay, so that will go there, but this will make a smaller flower to be used somewhere else. Okay. And so how did you get the smaller balloon? Is that This is the this is the stem that I cut off of this one. Oh! You started that so quick you You're missed like it. You're like a magician. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we started with. Tie it all around, but then I cut it there. And this is the piece that I cut off from here. I love the edges. Yeah. It just seems almost like a different type of flower, almost does. like a carnation. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crimped around the edge because of that. And so you can then use that elsewhere in your design. Wow. Yeah. Waste not once dot, you know. I like what that. What grandma always used to say, and she was right. <laughs> if, you, if you can use the off cuts, why not? So I've now got three of these little flowers that we'll position in a minute. But before we do that, let's just add some extra ribbon. Because another really important design tip is that whatever you use, you should repeat it throughout the design. So you don't just have the satin looks azure at the bottom. It's got to work through. The um, yes, and the same with this. We've got this in the middle here, but we need it elsewhere within the design as well. Otherwise, it just looks lonely. So let's zig back. Zig zigzag backwards and forwards a couple of times. It just makes it look so luxurious. Yes. The dazzled ribbon, I love it. Yeah, I do. It's, it's just got that little bit of extra sparkle. You can do it with the plain stuff and it works just as well. You know, sometimes you don't, you don't want lots of sparkle. You want something a little bit softer. So, uh, you know, 
just do it however you wish. And then, right, so we'll put this, just fluff it up a little bit, make sure that it's not all tangled and tight. And this piece will go into the centre here, along with this. So I'm going to tie this to this. If you know what's going on and where everything's going in advance, you can save yourself quite a lot of time and effort because you can group things together and then just attach one unit instead of lots of separate pieces. Okay, so we've tied this bow to the flower and that just makes it easier then because you're then just attaching one unit instead of lots of separate pieces. Yes, um, so easier to hide your mechanics. Yes, absolutely. And then I'm going to put a little bit of balloon bond on there. You can use the ribbons to tie it in if you want to, either or just stick it on like so. And then... Oh, that's so gorgeous. Okay. This one will fit in here, like that. So we can get another little piece of balloon bond. And we'll put that on there. And stick this to the base of the number. Now we're kind of finished at the bottom here, but before we leave it, I'm just going to curl and trim these ribbons. I'm not going to remove them. They can stay as part of the overall design, but we don't need them quite so long. So let's just tidy them up a little bit. That was way too long. That's OK. And then we can move up to the centre here. So remembering what I said earlier about making sure that we carry things through from one area to another, we're going to use another bow of this tool ribbon. Once again, just zigzag it back and forth a couple of times. Maybe one more. It makes such a big, beautiful bow. Yeah. You make it look so easy. <laughs> oh, it's much easier than trying to actually tie a bow. Yes. Believe me. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually, well, I suppose the last time I put a pair of shoes on with laces, but that was a long time ago as well. I, I fold bows now, always. Okay. They're much, much easier to do. And I'm going to tie that around the centre there. Now, we need to move some latex up to the centre there as well. So I will inflate a few of these five inch. We'll have a white, which obviously picks up on the satin looks down here. We'll have a blue. Tie them together into a duplet there. I have a rose gold. Again, roughly similar, but not worrying too much about perfect sizing. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have a, a little tiny white one, really small as well. So are there any it. tricks to get the balloons that are five inches even smaller? So, yeah, just inflate it to the size you want. Maybe a bit bigger and then you can let it down. That helps because it makes it a bit elastic. But it's very dark on the top here. Mm -hmm. So in order to make that look how it should, you just squish oh, wow. the air right into the top of the balloon and then tie it close. Okay. And then you've got... Like a pearl. Yes, I just like it. a pearl. <laughs> Wrap those together. 
And because the necks are so big on these, because the balloons are so small, we've got a lot of extra neck, I will cut those off. Pretty. Little cluster there, which I can attach using the ribbon that we use to tie the bow. Arrange your, your loops and tails so that they look good. And then I've now got two pieces of ribbon hanging down, which I could just curl, but I want to make this a bit more lush. So I'm going to put some pearls. Okay. <laughs> so we'll make it up, let it down the size we want, and I'm going to tie that around the ribbon so that it hangs below that little cluster. Take off what we don't need. And I'm just going to add two or three of these. So creating even more movement, drawing your eye through the design. Exactly. I love that. And these cost nothing to add, really, in real terms. The cost of the product and the cost of the time to add two or three little balloon pearls here and there is extremely small, but the value that it will add and the interest that it will add are much, much more than the, the cost. So, you know, it's well worth it. But don't refer to these when you're describing the design as small balloons. Refer to them as pearls because pearls are very valuable. Yeah. <laughs> small Pearl balloons, accents. probably not so. So, yeah, how you talk about things is almost as important as what you've actually done. So there we go, a little trail of pearls hanging from the bow, like that. Oh, I love that, that's beautiful. So we're nearly there. I have got some little feather picks. Are those uh, the type that you would use in a corsage yes, for prom or wedding? they are. Um, so this is one of those details that I was talking about earlier, where I said that I want people to, to, to look at the thing and then stop and take another look. Mm -hmm. So if you have subtle detail that they perhaps don't see immediately, then that is a way of drawing them back into the design to look at it again. So I'm just going to take these three and just arrange them at different lengths. Beautiful. Use the stem of one of them just to wrap around to hold them all together like that. And then I'm just going to attach them so that they spray outwards from this cluster here. Uh, this time I'm using stretchy balloon tape. I do really like it. Um, it's one of those things, if it's stuck with stretchy balloon tape, it's going to stay stuck. <laughs> it won't come away. So I'll just tape that in. Yeah, I'm going to put one one side, one the other. They do, they're not obvious, they're not in your face, but it's just a little bit of extra softness, a little bit of extra detail. It makes it look so high end. The yes. perceived value must just be through the roof when you add something like that with yeah. the gemstones and the natural Exactly, feathers. because these little little crystals that are in there will pick up on the little sparkles down here. Gorgeous. So. I love these touches. <laughs> Just twist it down like that. Very, very, very simple. But it adds a little extra layer of, of detail and lushness to the thing. So then just turn it away for a moment while I put it this side. And then we'll come to the final part. We'll just move up to the very top of the design just to finish it off. So now I'm going to make another little cluster of five inch latex, very small, just three of them, one blue, one rose, one white, slightly different sizes for interest. 
right one. And these will sit on that tab that we left at the top. That's why we left that, that tab on the, on the number one at the beginning when we were removing all the others. I left one up there. I need to put this down again. Hold the, the tab firmly. And then twist the two balloons around and that will lock it onto the tab. Oh, wow. And then this one. It's the magic flower that I didn't see earlier. The magic flower. <laughs> that will sit there. And then finally, helium fill. Two more satin look white hearts. Attach it to the ribbon. I'll just let it go up onto the ceiling. The ceiling's not so far away here. So I can just let them sit there for the moment while we finish off what we're doing. That colour is just so gorgeous, the texture that it creates. It's, it's a fabulous wedding balloon, this is. It, you, it could not be better. It's the most beautiful, um, yeah, slightly matte, satiny finish. And it's just perfect. But it's not just for weddings. It works so well for so many other occasions as well. So two white and one azure. And then finally, finally, on the making sure that everything links together and ties in and, and all the rest of it. I'm going to take a little bit more of this. I'm going to just gather it up about two or three inches from the end, put it there, and tie that little bow underneath each of the foils. So the tool is light enough that yes. it is fine a, with the A tiny little edge. piece like that will be perfectly fine. It's not an issue. But don't try and add too much, because foils, standard size foils like these, don't have a great deal of lift. But that is not an issue. That's perfectly fine. Beautiful. And it just gives you that little bit of extra finishing touch. And again, you could probably just use scraps from your project earlier, too. Yes. Indeed. Okay. That's the second one. And then the last one. And then we'll take these three. Arrange them how we want them. And then just literally take the ribbons and wrap them through there. I love how you've used the quad and the flower to hide your mechanics again, but added a little bit of artistic accents. It just really ups the perceived value. Yeah. If you can, if you can work it this way, so that it all, yeah, everything, even the, what, the stuff that's hiding the mechanics is also performing a function decoratively. So. Gorgeous. And there you have it. Chris, I love this design. It's so beautiful. And thank you so much for taking the time to come show us how to make it. Be sure to visit more of our educational resources at BurtonandBurton.com or follow us on our YouTube channel. Thank you again, Chris, for visiting us here all the way from across the pond. It's been a pleasure. It's been fun. Thank you.